Welcome to Frankfurt! Welcome in! Welcome to Frankfurt. This is a city of contrast, old and new, situated on the Main River. It has a trading history dating back to the Middle Ages. Today, we're going to explore the city during a 24 hour layover. Let's go check it out. We are in the Frankfurt terminal and we are looking to take the Frankfurtin train to downtown. Five euros. We pick up the train right at the airport and head three stops away to the Hauptbahnhof. This right here is our hostel, Five Elements, right near the city in the train. The Five Elements hostel is centrally located, affordable, stylish, and cozy. Top floor of Five Elements Hostel, right next door to the Hofbahnhof, right in the downtown. Ooh, there's even a desk in here. We got the Frankfurt City card, one day pass, 10.50 euros. Everything in this video is walkable from our hostel, including this pedestrian bridge called Holbeinstieg. It is about 47 degrees here, and it's April. So right here is the Strato Museum. We're going in there. They have Picassos and Renaissance paintings. It's one of the best museums in town. Here we cross the Main River, which bisects the city in two. There's so many pedestrians in this city, it's so cool. Here's our museum. At the Stiedel Museum, we view the Picasso printmaking exhibit on display through June of 2019. This is all Museum Row right here. We are in Frankfurt for a layover. This right here is the pedestrian bridge that connects to the Allstadt. And then on this side is the newer part of town, beautiful city. You can see the old and new Germany, and you can hear the bells from the Allstadt. We cross the picturesque Eisener Steg footbridge that connects to the old city. Here. We have made it to the main square. This is the Old Old Stop. Stop. Old Town. Old Town. Bells are ringing. We're about to go get some food. What do you have there? I have sour, apple wine. We're here in the main square in the Frankfurt Old Town. I'm gonna take a drink. How is it? Sour? It's good. It's good. Tastes like apple? Sour. Yeah. So I have this apple wine. I'm gonna take a drink. Really good. It kind of tastes like hard apple cider, but very apple flavored, very natural apple. I got potato soup with sausage, a pretzel, sauerkraut. Potato. Frankfurter green sauce. Frankfurter green sauce. Frankfurter. This is something you only get here. 
C'est bon. Très bien. Right in the Altstadt, we came across a brass ensemble playing the song Hallelujah. Now for a little history of Frankfurt. Historically, Frankfurt was not famous for its modern skyline, but for its historical city center. It was one of the largest and most beautiful medieval timber-framed old towns. During World War II, the city was bombed in an air raid and 2,000 of the medieval buildings were destroyed. Much of what you see today in the city center is new construction. The Dom Romer project is an effort to remake the old city center, the Altstadt of Frankfurt, into its pre-war architecture. survived World War II is the old St. Nicholas Church, or in German, Alte Nikolaikirche. Let's go inside. This is a medieval church dating back to the 13th century, known for its harmonic 47 bells. We are inside the Alte Nikolaikirche. the old and the new buildings side by side. He's dabbing. Much of the newly renovated old town was unveiled in 2018. Let's go check it out. Oh my god, this church is so beautiful. Who's this church? It's amazing. This is called Kaiserfoss Archaeology Museum. Oh, and the bells are ringing. Says here, like many German cities, Frankfurt was the target of the Allied strategic bombing in World War II on May 18th and 22nd. The British Royal Air Force carried out two of the war's most destructive air raids. The city's more than 2,000 half timbered buildings, only one remains intact. One of the highlights of the historical restoration project is the House of the Seven Scales, or Haus zur Golden Vag. To recreate this ornate medieval half-timbered house, it took meticulous attention to detail. Look at the details on this building. So beautiful. Look at the details on these half-timbered houses. Look at this when I zoom in. Look at all the gold statues. Gorgeous. How cute is this? You can bring a little piece of Frankfurt home. Puppet show. Check this out. Look at all these old traditional beer halls here. So what I love about Frankfurt so far, first of all, it's very walkable. The old town is extremely picturesque. The airport is really nice, probably one of my favorites in the world, one of the most organized airports. And everything here is just beautifully recreated. It's as if nothing happened, but the history is extraordinary. And there's so many museums to learn about what happened. Do you really? Where? The first German parliament was here. So we've gone from the old town to the new town. We are in Hong Kong. 
aka Frankfurt. We found this beautiful, peaceful park. Frankfurt would be an awesome place to work. Just saying. So our hostel is called Five Elements. It's very close to the train station. Everything we saw was walkable from the hostel. And our hostel starts at 45 euros per night. Moved into an interesting section. This is apparently the Turkish section, so they have a lot of donor kebab places, um, a lot of currywurst, and a lot of Indian food here. And maybe you need a new lesson. Repeat after me. They have a bar here with happy hour. There are people from all over the world here at this hostel. You could go anywhere in the world. Where would you go and who would you go with? Oh my gosh, there's so many places. Ethiopia. Tanner, are you listening? Patagonia. Eritrea. <laughs> Easter Island. Northern Chile. Bolivia. But who would you go with? Yeah. If you could suddenly speak any language fluently, what would it be? Well, after going to Tunisia, I think it's going to have to be Arabic. Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars. Boom. If you could live in any country in the world, which would it be? Spain. In the morning, we grabbed breakfast at our hostel, which came with a full spread of meats, cheeses, breads, and veggies. Information about the Five Elements Hostel is listed in the description below. Now, time to check out and go to the airport. Taking the S9 train to the airport. It's only about two stops away. And with that, we say a Wiedersehen to Frankfurt. We hope to be back for a more thorough trip of this beautiful region. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more travel videos.